Hey guys, for today's Lent devotional, we're going to be examining Paul's letter to the Philippines, chapter 4, verses 8. And uh, to get a better context of that, I'm going to read verses 4 through 9. Okay, so here we go. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your graciousness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Don't worry about anything, but in everything, through prayer and petition with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses every thought, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And this is verse 8. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any moral excellence and if there is any praise, dwell on these things. Do what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. So looking at these verses, uh, this is Paul's basically instructions for the Christian mind on how to think and how to let your mind and heart be in a place that's um, living by God's word and uh, these instructions are like filters like when you're searching for something and you add in like advanced filters these are the filters that you need to have in there so that your search results or the final product that ends up in your mind that you allow into your mind are meeting the criteria of these filters so you want to make sure that you know uh, you're uh, they're true, honorable, just, pure, lovely, commendable, and of moral excellence and praise. And so with those filters, there are a lot, but once you get those filters in there, your results may not be as much, you know, anytime you've done any kind of search with an advanced filter, you know that the more you narrow down, you're going to end up with uh, less results. Because, uh, you know, if you don't have a filter in, there's just so much stuff that's going to come up whether it's uh, searching for uh, when you're shopping for clothes or just anything that you're looking for there's just so much stuff out there especially nowadays there's so much available but when you start filtering down and putting in your needs um, it starts um, dwindling down the number that only meet the criteria of what you're looking for and in this case you want these to be your filters so that uh, the content that you allow into your mind is um, acceptable to God. And looking at these uh, guidelines, um, these are all gu guidelines that point towards Jesus. So he's true, he's honorable, he's just, he's pure, lovely, commendable, uh, moral excellence and praise. That All those criteria point to him as well. So what you're doing is allowing Jesus to reside in your mind and in your heart. And that's exactly what Paul says. Um, Do what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me and the God of peace will be with you. So utilizing these filters to allow God to come into your heart and uh, dwelling on his word and just uh, focusing on him allows you to live a life and have a mindset that is worthy of his values and uh, especially during this Lent season a lot of times uh, people give up something that's either uh, w whether it be a fast uh, something of like a food or giving up something that consumes a lot of time in their life uh, for example you know someone might give up uh, watching tv give up social media give up eating fast food chocolate, uh, meat, uh, whatever that may be, the hope is that you're able to give something up that consumes some time in your life uh, or, you know, that allows you to free up some time in your life to be able to now focus that time on God. And just like any kind of diet, for instance, uh, uh, in for me personally, this is how I relate to it. So when you try to do a diet, uh, it may be to do some type of detox or to lose weight uh, or to just uh, eat healthier for better, you know, and then you want to look at 
what you're trying to give up first. You want to identify the problem. So, you know, it may be sweets, carbs, meat, or just uh, preservatives or, you know, food with, without chemicals and things like that. And your goal is to be healthier and to lose weight or detox, whatever. And during the process, what you do is make changes to your normal routine or to, <clears throat> you're able to add in different foods, healthier foods, um, or just um, abstain from eating that one specific food that you decided to give up. And uh, it, this also helps you to kind of understand that you don't need that in your daily routine, that you can have something else in its place or con completely get rid of it altogether. This also helps you to kind of understand how much you needed that one thing that you uh, currently aren't uh, depending on, but it allows you to see how dependent you were on it. And hopefully the outcome from a diet like this would be not just in a fixed period, time period, oh, I'm just gonna lose 10 pounds and be done with it, because if you do that, uh, you know, you go back to your normal activities and you'll be back on the same um, boat again. But the, hopefully the good outcome would be that you change um, a daily habit or routine and that you are able to develop healthier changes that last way longer than just that specific time frame. So hopefully from this type of a diet, you're able to make a change and then even if it's not to the same extreme or degree, you're able to make lasting changes that have a benefit for you. So just like that during the Lent season, uh, when you give something up or when you are able to set aside time for God, whatever it may be, uh, rather than just being for this specific Lent season, I hope you're able to take that away and going forward, be able to dedicate more time to God and uh, be able to make a lasting change that's gonna um, have a bigger impact on you for the remainder of the year and for the remainder of your life. Thank you guys, I uh, hope you all are having a great Lent season. All right, uh, stay safe out there.